this video we're gonna talk about anger. Oh man, I don't know about you guys, but for me, if I'm feeling emotions that need to be protected, anger is my go-to. Not my best feature, but hey, it is who I am, and it is how I handle some of my other emotions that are harder to deal with. So, if I have trouble with this, I would imagine there's several more out there several more people out there who also tend to go to anger when they're having to protect another emotion that's really vulnerable. There are some ways for us to try to work on getting that anger out without hurting anybody or without screaming at people or hurting their feelings or taking it out on them, which is oftentimes what happens with anger. But until we can figure out what's under our anger, we really want to try to see if we can do a better job of focusing our anger and getting control over it. Because man, there's nothing that feels worse than feeling like my anger controls me. I don't like that. So here's a few tips that I use. I'm gonna read here for just a second, so I'm not gonna look exactly at the screen, but I'll try to come back and make eye contact. So one of the things that I try to do is imagine where in my body is the anger sitting, okay? So if I feel really angry, sometimes I'll feel it in my shoulders or sometimes it's in my chest, sometimes it's in my hands or my arms. And it's usually where my muscles are tightening up because I'm really frustrated or really mad. And so the first thing I do is try to visualize in my body where is my anger sitting. And I notice that it's sitting there and then I will try to relax those muscles. So I usually do this in my room by myself or in a quiet place. Sometimes I like to go sit out by the trees in my backyard because that's one of my favorite places to be is outside too. So just finding a space where I can sit by myself and relax those muscles so that I can try to do the opposite of feeling angry by letting my body not feel so angry. I also can use breathing in peace. So I visualize peace coming in as I breathe in and anger blowing out. And I'm going to blow that anger out of my body so that it's not sitting in here. Okay. A couple of other things I can do is I can stomp on the ground and kind of pound that anger out into the ground. So I'm gonna pound it out because I don't want to store it inside my body. It doesn't feel good. So sometimes stomping is a really good thing. Sometimes you want to yell and it might not be the right place to yell, but sometimes it is the right place to yell. So if you can find a good place to yell, roar like a lion or just ah! and just that screaming and getting it out kind of helps get it out of your chest so that you're not holding on to it. It doesn't mean that the thing that has hurt you or that you're afraid of has gone away, but now we're not storing that anger in there. We've gotten it out of our body so that we can really look at what's under our anger. Maybe it's sadness. Maybe it's loneliness. Maybe it's feeling isolated or ignored. Maybe it's that I am scared, but if we can scream it out of the body, then we can actually deal with the emotion that's underneath it. So if you need help with that emotion that's underneath your anger, please go and ask somebody to help you figure out what that is. That emotion pillow is a really great way of trying to discover what else might be under your anger. I hope this one is helpful. Roar like a lion, stomp on the ground, or release those muscles where you see that anger sitting in your body and see if that helps you. I hope this one helps. I know it helps me.